Hello, today I'm going to tell you something you want to know about this new Dell Inspiron 7570. So this have the Intel 8th generation quad core CPU. Yeah, 8th generation. So the CPU is, it's, is pretty good. And uh, this is a 7000 series. So you might want to know the build quality. So this one is not 2-in-1. So this is, you cannot do 360 degree. It's made by aluminum. Yeah, but this aluminum is not like brushed aluminum. And the difference is this looks good and it feels good, but it's pretty easy to scratch. If you look at here, you can see the slight scratch. I just uh, put it on the table and uh, the, 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 this side down and uh, there's some sand or something. It scratches aluminum very easy. If you get the two-in-one that's brushed aluminum, that would be much better. And what else you might want to know is, I think a lot of people want to know what's the inside, what can you do to upgrade? Because now the, the, the SSD and the RAM, those are pretty expensive. So usually people prefer to buy their own SSD and add their own RAM. So let's look at what's inside. So there are two RAM slot. And uh, yeah, of course I buy the eight giga version. So there's only one slot is taken so you can buy another one definitely pretty easy to install and uh, here is uh, 2.5 the hard drive and you can the Dell use this hybrid hard drive that means they're like 8 giga pretty fast SSD and one terabytes like the 5400 uh, the normal hard drive yeah this is good this is good enough but if you're thinking this too slow you can just change this to our SSD, but what else is you have this uh, M2 SSD? Yeah, you have this here, so you can still keep this and install M2 SSD here and install your Windows here. So you have some, I could put some file or games here and put your photo and document and movie here. So there is an M2 SSD, and what else you worry about is this one is support NVMe. Yes, definitely, you support NVMe if you want to buy the faster one. You can buy an NVMe and install here, it should, it should be compatible. And uh, what else you want to know? 42 watt battery, this battery is okay. I only want to say it is okay because it's not that big. Uh, the normal use, it lasts about, I think, four hours. Yeah, it, it's not those ultra book. And what else is, here is the CPU and GPU. You need to look at the CPU and GPU, uh, there's, like only one pipe right only one pipe one heatsink fan is that a big problem not really uh first this is the mx940 so this is not those super fast uh, gpu so it will not get hot i run this i run the delta 2 on this laptop and uh, yeah of course you cannot set it to full settings but just set it to medium uh, the whole temperature CPU and GPU is a, on average is 70 degrees, so it should be fine. And usually people buy this don't play games. So normally this runs very cool, and the the, the, <coughs> the new new CPU also consume little power, so it generates little heat. So this is not a big problem. Overall, I think the build quality is pretty good for this 7000 series. But just be careful, okay? If you buy this one, this is not called a brush aluminum. This, uh, this, I think this, I don't know what's on the Dell's website, but I feel this aluminum is very thin, very, very thin. It feels plastic, but I think it's not plastic, it's metal. And it's very easy to scratch. So if you want to have a better build quality, go for the 2-in-1 version. And this one, yeah, I like it. I, 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 I think it's good. So, hope it solves all the questions you have about this laptop. If you want, you can leave me a comment. Uh, I will tell you more. Thanks.